Hello everyone, welcome to U.S. Military Summary. AMRAAM, America's most advanced air-to-air -air missile. When fighter pilots take to the skies, they need unwavering confidence and knowledge that the systems they rely on will help them succeed in every mission. Dominating the skies is crucial for effectively conducting ground operations. Advanced technologies and weapon systems allow for seamless operation and engagement in the Air Force's battle space. AMRAAM is the weapon of choice for the U.S. military and its allies. AIM-120 AMRAAM, short for Advanced Medium Range Air-to-Air -air Missile, is an all-weather, day and night, beyond visual range capable missile. It is expected to remain in service beyond 2050. AIM-120 has a proven track record, having been test-fired over 5,000 times and used in combat globally. Testing provides valuable feedback that contributes to the continuous updating and improvement of the missile's performance. Used by 41 countries, the AIM-120 missile is equipped on F-15E Strike Eagle, F-16 Fighting Falcon, F-A-18 Super Hornet, F-22 Raptor, Eurofighter Typhoon, Saab JAS-39 Gripen, Panavia Tornado, and Harrier Jump Jet aircraft. It is also the only air-to-air -air missile certified on the F-35 Lightning II. AMRAAM is the successor of the AIM-7 Sparrow missile series. How AMRAAM Works this missile is faster, smaller, lighter, and better at countering low-altitude targets. It also incorporates a data link to guide the missile to the point where its active radar turns on and proceeds to intercept the final target. Additionally, an inertial reference unit and microprocessor system make the missile less dependent on the aircraft's fire control system. Once launched, the missile can operate independently to locate and destroy its target. The missile's active radar guidance leads it to the intercept point known as Fire and Forget. This feature allows the aircraft to simultaneously target and fire multiple missiles at multiple targets, then disengage their radar once the missile's seeker is active and self-navigating to the target. Furthermore, the missile also has the capability of Home on Jam, which allows it to switch from active radar guidance to passive guidance based on the jamming signal from the target aircraft. The missile software enables it to detect if it is being jammed and navigate to the target using the appropriate guidance system. The AMRAAM missile has several variants, each with unique capabilities and improvements. AMRAAM Missile Variants The initial production version of the missile, AIM-120A, was introduced in 1991. It has a range of about 30 miles and features active radar seeking capability. AIM-120B is an upgraded and reprogrammable variant of the original missile, with a range of about 40 miles. AIM-120C integrates smaller control services for internal carriage on the F-22 and F-35, along with beyond visual range engagement capabilities. It has a range of around 50 miles. AIM-120D offers improved range, GPS-aided guidance, updated data link, enhanced jamming resistance, and greater lethality. It has a range of over 100 miles and can reach speeds up to Mach 4. AMRAAM has been used in numerous engagements, scoring 16 air-to-air -air kills in conflicts in Iraq, Bosnia, Kosovo, India, and Syria. In fact, the missile is designed for beyond visual range air-to-air -air combat with a kill probability of 0.59. Targets include 6 MIG-29s, 1 MIG-25, 1 MIG-23, 2 SU-22s, 1 Galeb, and 1 U.S. Army Blackhawk mistakenly targeted. Addressing Advanced Threats Raytheon is continuing to integrate new capabilities into the AMRAAM missile with the F3R, or form, fit, and function refresh using modeling to design, analyze, verify, and validate the system. The F3R missile will feature improved guidance circuitry and software to counter rapidly evolving threats. The U.S. Air Force has completed the first in a series of guided live fire tests for the F3R bringing it one step closer to initial operational capability, the military's way of saying it's ready for deployment. 
In parallel with the F3R, the system is receiving additional capabilities through software updates called the System Improvement Program, or SIP-3, to enhance the weapon's guidance, range, and performance. And progress doesn't stop there. The MRAM missile continues to evolve with SIP-4, the point at which all components begin to be integrated. It takes full advantage of the new processing power and speed that the new hardware brings. Ground Launch System the Norwegian Advanced Surface-to-Air Missile System NASAMS, developed by Kongsberg Defense and Aerospace was introduced in 1994-1995. The system consists of multiple launcher units containing six AMRAAM launch tubes with integrated launch rails, along with separate radar trucks and control station vehicles. As part of the Low Altitude Supplemental Weapon System and Service Launched AMRAM Slam Ram program, the U.S. Marine Corps and Army conducted tests firing AIM-120 missiles from a six-rail launcher mounted on a Humvee. However, both programs were cancelled due to budget cuts. A more recent version of the system is the High Mobility Launcher for NASAMS, utilizing the Humvee as the launch vehicle. The launcher consists of four AMRAM missiles and two optional AIM-9X Sidewinder missiles. AMRAAM ER After the budget for SLAMRAM was cancelled in 2011, development of the NASAMS version was restarted in 2014. In February 2015, Raytheon announced the AMRAAM ER missile option for NASAMS. The AMRAAM ER is a new ground launch solution designed to intercept targets at greater distances and altitudes. The AIM-120 extended range features a larger rocket motor and other improvements that significantly expand NASAMS engagement range with a 50% increase in range and a 70% increase in altitude. The missile was tested at the Andoya Space Center in May 2021. The test saw a hybrid missile comprising the seeker and warhead of the AIM-120C7 combined with the rocket motor, aft section, and control section of the ESSM, launched from a MK-2 launcher. Upon deployment, the AMRAAM-ER will deliver new ground-to-air missile defense capabilities to the warfighter through its enhanced speed, range, altitude, and maneuverability. Paul Ferraro said in a statement, We are one step closer to the certification, production, and final integration of the weapon into the NASAMS. NASAMS is owned by 12 countries and has been integrated into the U.S. National Capital Region's air defense system since 2005. Replacing the AMRAAM, the Air Force is rapidly developing a new air-to-air -air missile that will replace the AMRAAM in the future. The Joint Advanced Tactical Missile AIM-260 JATM program is progressing extremely fast to counter China's air-to-air -air missiles, according to Army General Anthony Ganatempo, Deputy Project Manager for Command, Control, Communications, Intelligence, and Networks, speaking to reporters on Thursday at the Life Cycle Industry Days Conference of the Force. The AIM-260 will initially be deployed on the F-22 Raptor, F-18 Super Hornet, F-15 EX Eagle II, and F-35 Lightning II. The current idea is that JATM production will begin as soon as the AIM-120 starts to phase out, ensuring continuous missile deliveries for combat commanders. The final production purchase for the AMRAAM is expected in fiscal year 2026. The PL missile that the JATM has to counter is a Chinese missile similar in shape and size to the AMRAAM. The missile appeared in the weapons bay of the Chengdu J-20 stealth fighter of the Chinese People's Liberation Army Force during the 2018 Zhuhai Air Show, believed to have a range of over 100 nautical miles and a top speed of Mach 5. It uses a two-stage solid rocket motor with two different fuels, one for acceleration phase immediately after launch and one for the sustainment phase, allowing the missile to maintain high speeds without losing energy before reaching its target. And that's all the content of today's video. Thank you for watching the entire video. Don't forget to share the video with friends and family to discuss and explore other fascinating military topics. If you have any questions, suggestions, or proposals for us on any military topics, please leave us a comment below. We always appreciate your contributions to help our channel grow and deliver more exciting content. Lastly, thank you for supporting the U.S. Military Summary throughout this time. We look forward to seeing you in future videos. Have a great day and goodbye for now.